how do you decide what to focus on? You know, breaking news like what's happening in Egypt is obviously very important. It needs to be covered. But you know, if if not a lot is happening on any given day, you know, something like something like Mark Bittman's uh, video might be more popular for people just visiting the site. When you're when you're deciding what to cover and what videos to produce, um, where do you focus your resources? I mean, how much goes into like original, maybe features versus uh, versus versus like hard news programming? Maybe. Yeah, for, for us, I mean, just to, to to respond to that because we're we're such a huge outlet, we have a tremendous amount of insights, and I think that's one thing that a lot of us can play upon because we we know what people are searching for, we know what people are looking for, so we'll um, oftentimes create content that's specifically in response to something that we know is spiking uh, in search, you know, something that's related to a news story, um, you know, or or something that might be more feature oriented that we just know people have a curiosity about, and that's that's one of the big benefits I think you know from for being on the web I come from a TV background and you just don't have that kind of relationship with your audience where you can directly answer their questions and respond to, to what you know they want answered I think also you just you know you use uh, real-time data and in terms of what's happening on the site and then you're adjusting your programming based on on what's happening I mean there's the there's the news agenda that you drive regardless of what people are, are searching for you can use um, some of those insights to help supplement some of the, the main thrust of the news agenda um, but then once you publish it, it's about, you know, monitoring the, the, the site and the activity on the site so that you can make small tweaks and adjustments or decide to cover something else because it's popping. Yeah, and I think it's, just, it's critical, obviously, to, to really know your audience, right? And even when there's not breaking news, what are the themes that they're interested in? What are the topics that they're kind of discussing themselves? And we've started to do something called instant specials where we've actually, you know, stayed pretty close to our users and released instant specials. and. Actually, the first time we've done 15-minute programs online, and people are watching 80% of it. So we started to break our own rules. We were in the two, three minutes, that's the max you can do online. What we found, if, if, if you get the right subject, and you can do enough production quality, right? You're always going to fall short of traditional TV, but if you can do enough production quality, you can get serious engagement um, if it's the right content. One of the things that I think not enough organizations are doing is really going deep on their analytics of looking at the trends, seeing at what's popping, you know, in terms of categories, and also looking at the results of their recommendation engines and what's actually being yielded out of that. That can give you really important insights into where, you know, what content's working, what content's not, and uh, and how to really invest in the absence of a ma major news story. And I think that's that the industry is just getting to the point where we can actually. Um, that the best practices are emerging to be able to do that well. Okay.